Early in the morning of July 18th, we flew from Heraklion Crete to Thessaloniki, the second largest city in Greece. Since the remaining eight members of our group were arriving at various times during the day, we had the afternoon free and I took off on an independent walking tour of the city. With a population of over a million, Thessaloniki is the capital of Greek Macedonia, not to be confused with the country of Macedonia. The city was founded in 315 BC by Cassander of Macedon, an important metropolis by the Roman period. Thessaloniki was the second largest and wealthiest city of the Byzantine Empire. It was conquered by the Ottomans in 1430 and passed from Ottoman control to Greece in 1912. Constructed in 306 AD by the Roman Emperor Galerius as his mausoleum, but actually used as a temple, the rotunda was converted into a Christian church by Constantine I in 316 AD. A church for over 1,200 years, it was converted into a mosque by the Ottomans in 1590. It was used as a mosque until 1912 when the Greeks captured the city during the Balkan War. Greek Orthodox officials reconsecrated the structure as a church and they left the minaret.
July 20th, we took a day trip to Mount Olympus and the nearby ruins of the ancient Greek and later Roman city of Dion. Dion was the sacred place of the ancient Macedonians, where the kings made splendid sacrifices to celebrate the new year at the end of September. In the spring, purification rites of the army and victory feasts were held. Mostly a collection of ruins now, the nearby museum had two displays of great interest. A remarkably well-preserved mosaic floor from the 3rd century AD Villa of Dionysus, not discovered until 1987, and a hydraulis, the oldest keyboard instrument in the world. On July the 21st, we moved on from Thessaloniki to the central mountain village of Meteora, stopping for a couple of hours at Virgina, the site of the burial mound containing, among others, the tombs of Philip of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great, and Alexander the Fourth, the son and heir of Alexander and Roxanne, who was assassinated by his uncle at the age of 14. We also stopped for lunch and a visit to a winery in Naosa, outside Vergina. After lunch in Osa, we continued on to Meteora, arriving late in the afternoon. We took a brief hike near the hotel to the base of the mountain where the cave shrine of St. George of the Scarves is located, and also got a brief glimpse of a wedding and christening in St. George Chapel. Afterwards, we had dinner and enjoyed some great entertainment at a restaurant in the town. A lot of photos of fans.